welcome you everybody to my online class with Dupur Online School. Today I'm going to conduct an English class of class 9, first paper. Okay. Welcome to English class with Mr. Devashi Sharka and assistant teacher English, Jagannathpur High School, Kumarthali Kustia. Okay. Look at the picture. Can anybody tell who is he? He is Robin Shah. Yes. The name is written over there, Robin Shah Kusho. I think you students, everybody know about or heard the name Robin Shah Kusho. Okay. Have you heard the name of Robin Shah Kusho? Is the question I already asked before. I think not all the students. Uh, heard the name of Robin Chakusha, but some of you could hear. Robin Chakusha was a sailor. You know who he was? He was a sailor. He was born in a wealthy family in Nottinghamshire in England. His parents wanted him to be a lawyer as his father, his father was a lawyer, you know. But young Provincial Krusho did not want to be a lawyer. He wanted to be a sailor. So one day he fled from his house and one of his boys to the sea, uh, his ship Wrecked, and he was confined in a in an island in an island where there were there were no human beings. So he had to live alone there in that island for twenty seven years. So that uh, I have said this question or have you heard the name of Province and Kusha? Then because. He spent most of his time in an isolated island. Okay, then could he live alone? Yes, we have already heard the story of Robin Chan Krusha. Look, another picture. What do you see in that picture? In the picture, there is a little hut, and in front of the hut, uh, there is a middle-aged man. Uh, he is alone, I think, right? Yes. And he is sit just he is sitting beside a stove. Uh, you know the traditional stove, a traditional uh, country stove. Yes. Look, can you live alone in this hut like this man? Your students. Can you live alone like this man in this hut? I think some of you will answer yes sir and some of you will answer no sir it is impossible to live alone there in this little hut. Yes, it is very difficult and we will uh, know more about this uh, if we go through our lesson today. So proceed on. Here, dear students, can you understand or can you guess what is our today's topic? Can anybody tell? Yes, yeah, some of you can tell. Our to our, we are going to talk about can you live alone? Can you? Can you live alone? This is unit one. Lesson one. That means now be clear. Now are you clear what we are going to talk about today or what we are going to learn about today? We are going to learn about can you live alone? That means can any man can anybody live alone? We will learn this. We will know this after the class. Okay. That means this question you can answer after the class. If you attend it, 
concentrately okay proceed now there is a pixel pixel number that means there are there are one, two more pixels and pixel number one what do you see in the pixel you will have to describe everything yeah, this is a little hut in in jungle and one um, grown up man is trying to make mat trying to make mat right yes there uh, he is all alone okay now proceed to the pixel number two what do you see in that pixel uh, this is there is there is a hut in the jungle and in that uh, in that hut i think there is a cow there is a middle uh, there is a grown up man and grown up lady um, and children cat uh, that means there are domestic animals as well that means that is a family of some people family and in picture number one the man is alone okay now you will get a question what can we see in the pixel number one we have already talked about in pixel number one there is a man living in a hut in the jungle and he is trying to make mat i think and in pixel number two we have already talked about this is also a picture uh, this is also a picture of family there is uh, there is a, a grown-up man a lady children and domestic animals though their house is a little hut yeah, into the jungle okay now question number c what is the difference between pixel one and two the difference is there in pixel number one there is only a single man but in pixel number two uh, this is a complete family there are a lot of there are three or four there are three people and domestic, there, there are four people and domestic animals so this is called this is a completely this is completely a family i think right okay proceed on now we will talk about a uh, text okay you everybody uh, open your textbook unit one lesson one and now you will go through it okay here look long ago a man who lived in a village found his life full of problems and sufferings that means in long ago that means once upon a time or so many years ago a young man who lived in a village was not happy living there because he found some sufferings and problems then what he did uh, that means the sufferings were that means uh, he found sufferings problems quarrels ill feelings then uh, jealousy and mighty all are part of everyday life there that means he found uh, life there were full of problems sufferings quarrels this ill feelings jealousy and mighty all are part of their everyday life there in the in the place. So he decided. So he left his house and went to a jungle to live by himself. This is why he left his house from out of that village. Because the life of the village is full of problems, sufferings, ill feelings, jealousy and mighty. That means every trouble the troublesome. So he wanted to la uh, live peacefully so he left her left his family of the village and went to a jungle where he wanted to live alone now there he made a nice little hut with wood bamboo and reeds and going to the jungle he try, tried his best to make a little hard nice little hat 
and he to make the little hut he used wood bamboo and reeds yeah ah uh, after after building his hut or after making his hut he became satisfied and told or uttered oh i'm how happy i am here oh how happy i am here said the man to himself was after making the hut he found he is all alone and now he uttered this sentence ah oh, how happy i am here then look what happened but one day he found some mice in his hut but one day he found some mice in his hut and then the little creatures soon made holes in his blanket that means after passing some days he found some mice in his little hut and these little creatures already made the devastating thing what that devastating thing is the devastating thing is uh, it already made some holes in his blanket so what happened then so he bought so he bought a cat to kill the mice he bought a cat to kill the mice from the bellets now look the cat needs milk the cat needs milk so look here so he bought a cow what cow need the cow needed grass and hay so he brought a cow hand this is a cow hand so he bought a cow hand and now look the cow hand needed food cow hand also needed food so that what he do what he did look at the pigs so he bought a wife so he took a wife to cook meals did you did you see what is happening what is happening there did you see yes the man is again going to fall into a family he is automatically making a family over there in the sun then after taking a after taking a wife there what happened then children were born to them and the man found himself again in a family that is when he took wife after taking wife children children were born so he again fell into a family there that means he already made himself a family then look then what happened so nobody can live alone you will keep it in mind nobody can live alone unless that person is either an angel or a devil that means man cannot live alone who can live alone an angel can live alone or a devil can live alone people need food shelter companions and help what actually people need people need food shelter companions and help that is cooperation here they needed to look after each other cooperate help that is cooperation or we can say they need to look after one another or each other and if they live in a family 
or in a community, their needs can be fulfilled. And only living in a family or in a community, these demands or this demand can be fulfilled. Otherwise, it is impossible. Do you get it? Hence, living in a society can make people good and happy citizens. Can you see what happened there? We cannot, we cannot live alone. Though, he, though the uh, people like you, you the young stars, okay? Sometimes you can think, yes, I can live alone. But don't forget, man cannot live alone. If you want to be, if you want to live alone, in that case, you will be considered as an angel or a devil. Because, you know, an angel needs not other self. Even sometimes a devil need not other self. But people or a human being needs help from others because they cannot live alone. So, now uh, we will see some word meaning or we will know some word meaning. Now, dear students, I think you everybody got the passage. Now take out your CW copy and try to write the meaning of the words, the unknown words here. Yeah? Look, word number one is hut, A-C-U-T, hut. Hut means cottage. Hut means cottage or a small uh, living, thing, living place. This is, look at the picture, that is cottage or hut. We may, we may say it is a cottage or we may say it is a Heart. Then, hey, hey, say why, hey, what does it mean? Hey means, look at the picture, hey means uh, dried grass. Hey means dried grass. Then, reeds, what is reed? Reed that is tall plant like grass. Tall plant, look at the picture, tall plant like grass. That, that is not a heat, but you can use it as a rope. You can use, use it as a rope. That means reeds can be used as a rope sometimes. More words. Jealousy. What does it mean? Jealousy means envy. Look. Look the pigs. That is this girl is jealous of his parents because his parents are taking care of the young, uh, younger one or the youngest one. So the elder, elders, uh, elder one or elder child is becoming jealous or feeling jealous. Then individual, individually that means alone. Individually that means alone. Okay, look at the picture. Oh, the picture will come later. We can now word number three. Quarrel. What does it mean? Quarrel means fight. Okay, look at the picture. The two boys are engaged in fight. That is also we can we can say quarrel. Quarrel means fight. Okay, now look at the picture number two. What is alone or what is individual? Okay, then more words. Creatures. Creatures means living beings. Creature means living beings. Then children. Look at the picture. Children that means baby. Then companion. Companion that means partner. Then happy. Look at the picture. Glad. Then cooperation, cooperation, that means assistance. Did you get it? I think you everybody wrote the words in your copy. Okay. You have, you have written uh, the given word and also the similar meaning word, word of similar meaning or synonyms. Okay. Okay now.
dear students we have another work that is individual though it is individual work it should have been done in the classroom but uh, as now we are not in the real classroom we are in the virtual classroom so that you will also do it by yourself though i will help you okay now look fill in the blanks with suitable word here there is a passage here there is a passage you everybody will read it carefully first then you will try to fill it dear students you need not to write the full write, write the full paragraph or full text or passage or context in your cws office just you will read it and after reading it uh, when i will tell you to write the answer you will write the answer only okay okay now nobody can leave dash unless they are either angels or dash i think you get you get it right people need food shelter dash and cooperation this is not that much difficult i think right okay they need to help each other and if they live in a dash their need can be fulfilled hence living in society can make people dash citizens i think you everybody got the answers right okay now let me help you nobody can live i think it is alone yes it is alone nobody can live alone unless they are either angels or devils devils yes okay now people need food shelter companions and cooperation companions and cooperation they need to help each other and if they live in a in a where in a where live in a family then their need can be fulfilled hence living in society can make people good citizen which type of citizen good citizens okay dear students have you done it i think you have done it already okay now proceed to the next one here yeah, this is also pair work but uh, this is as this is a virtual class uh, here there is no opportunity to have pair work so forget it you will be you will do it by yourself that means individual work answer the questions that means there will be some questions there are some questions and you will try to answer the questions here yeah. okay now look question number one why did the young man leave his house why did the young man leave his house and when you will uh, try to go for us go for writing the answer of the questions you will have to keep in mind that the for each question in your exam you will have two marks in each question how many marks two marks and two marks is divided for two things for, for um, thing number one is finding out the proper answer and for the second one or for the second mark is for grammatical correction that means the question that the question is the, the tense question is in you will have to answer in that tense that means here look why did the young man leave his house the question is in past indefinite tense that means in past tense and when you will answer the these questions you will also have to answer in past tense so how how we can uh, start writing the answer 
There was the young man who left his house because he found life there full of problems and sufferings like uh, quarrels, ill feelings, jealousy, and mighty. That's why he left house. Did you get the answer of question number one? Yes. Okay. This is not that much difficult. It's the easy thing, right? If you uh, read the passage attentively, in that case, you, <laughs> you will see the answers of the questions are very much easy. But if you do not read it attentively, in that case, you will find the questions difficult. Okay? Or if the question will seem difficult. Okay, now question number two. Why did the why did he make a hut? Why did he make a hut? Did you did you look at the question tense? Yes, this question this is again in past tense. That means we will start like this. He made a hut. He made a hut in the jungle. He made a hut in the jungle. Okay. You need not to write unnecessary, unnecessarily elaborate question answer. Just try to write to the point answer. Okay. Okay. Now question number three. Was the man happy in his heart? Did you get the question? Was he happy in his heart? No. If not, why? That means the answer will start like this. No, he was not happy in his heart or in his family or in his heart. He was not happy in his heart. Why? Because he found some mice. He found some mice within a very few days and found his blanket. found some holes in his blanket. So he brought a cat, cat needs milk. So he brought a cow, then he brought a cow hand, then he took a wife, then, then what? Then children, children was born, or children were born. Children is a plural word, so we will have to use were or not was where children were born. So the man again fell into family. So what will be the answer? The answer will be no, he was not happy. How he was not happy? You will have to describe them, okay? The way I have described. Now, number four. How did he find himself again in a family? We have already talked about it. You will have to just, you will have to describe, describe the story, nothing else. That means uh, he found uh, some holes in his blanket and uh, found, uh, he found some uh, mice in his hat and found his blanket, uh, found holes in his blanket. So he brought a cat, cat, uh, needs milk, so he bought a cow. Cow needs hay and grass, so he bought a cow hand. And cow hand needs uh, milk, uh, so he took a wife to cook meals. And after that, a children was a children were born, so he fell into a family again in this way or by this way. Okay? Did you get the answer of question number three or four? Yes, four. Now, uh, go for number five. What is the moral of the story? Dear students, can you understand or can you imagine? How, what is the moral of the story? Yes. Okay. The moral of the story is none can live alone. Now, where is an angel or a devil? Did you get it? Dear students, we, we have come to an ending mark or ending position 
of our class what will you do you will go through unit uh, lesson one of unit one of your textbook again and again you have to set this at least twice and you will try to, to you will try to do uh, the exercises of the book that means you will read it very carefully to at least twice this is your uh, this is your homework that is learning homework you will do it by yourself to increase your or to develop your uh, efficiency okay that's all so bye bye